Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcus Villegas from behind the camera in Mexico City being joined with Ilunga Macambu, who is maybe potentially fighting Canelo Alvarez. Uh, I heard the news yesterday. What did you think of it? Thank you very much. I'm feeling happy because it's a nice and good opportunity to fight uh, uh, the best boxer in the world, in the planet, Canelo Alvarez. And I also thank you, I say thank you to Mauricio and the WBC for supporting me with this. And I say thank you to Canelo to accept to come to Cruiserweight for the fight. Is he crazy? No, I think, I, I can say he's crazy because he wants to challenge the dangerous man. But he's a man. He wants to stay in front of someone who is heavier than him and cause of it. He must make it. He must make the deal. I'll be waiting. When you heard, what kind of emotions did you have? Firstly, I was a, my first emotion is I'm fighting the best boxer in the planet. And secondly, I say, but why he chose me? Mm. And I understand that he didn't choose me, but the time chose me because I'm right now a champion. Mm. And we, we have to make it. Going back to that, his trainer is the one that looked at you and said, we want to fight him. What do you think, why do you think his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, uh, wanted to choose you, pick you uh, to fight Canelo? Canelo want to make a history, and I will help him to make a history. Mm. In which way? By making my own history, because I was just my own history to write down. Mm. And I appreciate to choose a cruiserweight division, and uh, I'll be there to fight. He chose a cruiserweight. He was a light heavyweight. He fight over left. Now he choose. You have to to know we are heavy. We must make everything to happen. We've been waiting. Do you think this is too much of a, of a jump for Canelo going from 168 now to cruise rates 190 pounds? Like a boxer, I can say no. He's a man. But what me I'm thinking is you want to prove then you can make this. And let's do it. Let's see. I cannot say anything. This is boxing. You're excited. I love it. <laughs> I love boxing. And uh, I don't know where the fight is going to happen. Whatever, no matter where the fight is going to happen, I'll fight him. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, I'll be happy because uh, Mexican people love boxing and I love them. I've been plenty of time in Mexico. I see how they support. Even in Las Vegas, whatever. Even, why not in, in Africa, in Congo? Mm -hmm. That way is big jungle. Where Ali and Judge Fireman make something big, and we can make it. We can write a story. Mm -hmm. Like I always representing Africa, I will be happy to to do that with uh, the best boxer in the planet. What would it mean to you to face a, a Canelo Alvarez if it does become official and, and it does happen? Like seeing you know how you've come up and, and getting this notoriety uh, of fighting a Canelo, what would it mean for you? That's it been nothing to me. It's like today I change my mind and I say I'm going to have weight. Mm. It's not going to change any life of any weight, like a boxer. He's a boxer, he chose to come in a cruiserweight. Look, someone Canelo beat in last fight. He was told the name. They're a killer plan. We cannot talk, we cannot judge boxing by age. Uh, we cannot judge him boxing by uh, at all as uh, someone, no. Mm -hmm. That's what I can say. The best must win. He chose Junior because he knows Junior is also tough and Canelo is tough. Mm -hmm. We'll want to see this. It's good for boxing. It's good for people and for sport. They want to see this. Let's make it happen. What'd you make of his last fight with Caleb Plant and, and the skills he showed in that fight? No, I cannot say anything like a boxer. I didn't see anything because I want to make more than what I see. Mm -hmm. That's why I it. Do you think you'll, you you would make a better fight than Caleb Plant? I'll make I'll make people to love boxing. Mm. I'll give people Canelo what he wants. If he's going up in the division like this, that means he's looking for a good boxer and sometimes someone something good, mm -hmm. and you'll find it. And people will know who's junior. 
Thank you. Uh, a few more. This is really interesting to me because I don't know when I'm going to see you ever again. <laughs> okay, I get you. Yeah. Um, when you look at Canelo as a fighter and, and you think in your mind, how am I going to approach this fight? How would you approach a fight with Canelo? Firstly, like a boxer, I, can, so I cannot say my technique. You don't want to give away the game plan. We will take, we will, we will see what how we're gonna work with my my trainer Damien Durant, mm -hmm. and then with my team Tariq Sadi and my promoter Leo. Yo, we will be all of us in the camp. We will work on it, and people will see. But you different. gotta think though, your your size advantage is a very big factor in this fight, right? I cannot say no. But, uh, let's see. <laughs> what let's kind see. of a fight do you, do you see it in your mind? Do you, do you think it's something where you guys are going at it? People, people always see me fighting. Never, you must also team. In each and every fight, Junior always fight different. Oh. There's a problem. Canelo always fight, he's aggressive fight, he's always attacking, he can punch, he's everything. And what people saying about me? I can box, I can take, I can punch. Let's see if Canelo can take it. Why do you win finally? I win. I'm not going to win by point and I'll knock out Canelo. All right, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, my thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.